My name is Louis. My name is Juliana. And our biggest challenge is figuring out how to start a business. We both have full-time day jobs. Motion graphics animator. Executive assistant. But in my spare time, I knit, which means I use two sticks and yarn to create wearable garments, like the shirt I'm wearing. And then I sell those patterns to those designs online. I'm a crocheter, and I use a hook to create three-dimensional pieces with yarn. I hope together we can create a brick and mortar yarn store here in San Francisco, but we don't know where to begin. So we want it to be a yarn store slash coffee shop so that we could use the coffee shop section to get people in and then the yarn part to hook them. And we want to call it Wound Up Yarn and Coffee. Yeah, it was a really good name. If I had access to a financial advisor, I would ask them, how much money do we have to have ready to invest in this business before we start looking for a storefront? I would also want to know what kind of things are there that we haven't thought about that we should be prepared for. Hi, Louie and Juliana. My name is Jean Chatsky. I'm a financial expert and I'm a business owner, the CEO of HerMoney.com, so I know exactly what you're going through. Don't quit your day jobs. Businesses are difficult to start. More businesses fail than succeed every single year. And so if you're gonna go forward down this road, and I want you to, you have to set yourself up for success. And financially, that means making sure that you've got a good six to 12 months worth of expenses for this business set aside that will just keep you going as you're trying to get your new business off the ground. So how do you figure out how much it's gonna cost you? Well, you do some research. You go out and you look at what are rents like in your area. What are utilities going to cost for this business? Go lurk in the local coffee shop. Go sit down in the local yarn shop. Strike up a conversation. You use all of this to pull together what's called a business plan. It'll give you answers to your questions like, how much money do I actually have to make before I can quit my job? Could one of us quit our jobs to mind this business while the other one continues to work a day job to keep us afloat as a family? It's much better to try to just wail on your business as a side gig for a while while stockpiling some additional funds so that you know that you can go into it without a mountain of debt sitting on your shoulders and with the best possible shot of making it a success.